Whenever a new animal arrives at the North Carolina Zoo, the public is always intent to learn when they'll be able to see that new critter on exhibit. But the fact is that every new animal coming into the zoo has to go through a series of medical exams and a waiting period of up to three months before they can be introduced to their exhibit. Zoo Chief Veterinarian Dr. Mike Loomis tells us about the zoo's animal quarantine program and why it's so important. The zoo quarantines every animal that comes into the collection, and the primary reason for that is to make sure that we don't introduce disease into the collection. We get animals from lots of different sources, mostly other zoos, but sometimes from the wild, and while the animal's in quarantine, we test the animals to make sure that they don't have any disease that we could potentially transmit to the animals that we already have in our collection. In addition to screening them for diseases, they get used to the diets that they'll have here at the zoo. A lot of times we try to introduce the animals to the keepers that are going to be taking care of the animals. While we have the animal in quarantine, we usually let it settle into a routine, and then we anesthetize the animal and we do a very complete medical workup on it. We try to make sure that they're really healthy animals when they leave quarantine. Uh, occasionally, the curators or keepers will uh, request a shortening of the quarantine period, and if we can accommodate that by making sure that the animal is not carrying any infectious diseases that we worry about transmitting to the, the resident collection, then we try to accommodate those. While no one is more excited than zoo staff about putting a new animal on exhibit, we first have to be sure that our existing animals are protected. If you'd like to learn more about our animal collections, check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.